Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ellipsis. It's Friday. We finally got there. I hope you've all got a fantastic weekend planned. Um, we don't have many, many plans. Uh, I've got a few things I need to get done around the house, but I'm going to find some time, hopefully, to just chill. But I hope you've got something good in store for today. Uh, main point of attraction is I'm going to finish this booster box of Obsidian Flames. There's nine packs left. Before that, we're going to open a five pack uh, collection box, the Cleaver V Star. Opened quite a few of these now, so we all know what's inside. And to start off with, we're going to open one of these McDonald's match battle packs. We are looking for the Titan Hollow, and that is to finish a third complete set. That third set, if we manage it, is going to go to one of you lucky folks as a giveaway. So, uh, whether it's in this one, we're going to open one of these uh, every video for the next probably week. Uh, I think that's when they finish in McDonald's. So hopefully one of those packs is going to contain this a Titan Hollow. And then, yeah, you'll be able to walk away with a bit of a giveaway. So let's see if Way Coco has the Hollow we need. I'm still regularly going to uh, to McDonald's to try and pick these up. Where's the card? That's not the card. There's the card. Oh, we get a Quaxley. Okay. That, I don't remember if that's one we already had. I am collecting these for my binder as well. They're going in with the set. And uh, any doubles that we have... I'm putting them aside as well, so they'll go with uh, the giveaway too. Don't know if we'll be able to complete a whole set of those though. I think there's quite a few, but let's start from the back. Uh, the front card is the hollow, so we get a Sandaconda. We have a Pormi. We have a Curlier. Interesting thing about the Curlier, um, it's the most expensive card out of the set. There's 15 cards and it's the most expensive. And the last time I checked, it was about $11, which is crazy. Not quite sure why it's so expensive. But if you see these, keep hold of them. I don't know if they'll retain that sort of value, but there you go. And the hollow for today will be it's a Quaxley, so it's not the Titan, but very nice. One of the starters, can't complain with that. Very happy with one of the starters or Pikachu out of all of the hollows. But we get a Quaxley. So, does not complete our full set. So keep an eye on future videos when we will be hopefully pulling the card that we all need. Except for me, I've, I've got this complete set, but uh, you know, you get the point. Anyway, let's see whether there's anything really, really nice inside this collection box. I'm actually most excited about Astral Radiance. I'd really like to pull the uh, Palkia uh, alternate art. I got the Dialga a week or two back and uh, yeah, suddenly realized how much I really want both of them but the uh the palkia it's got such a great design on it anyway there's the usual black star promos i won't bother with getting them out there's a code seeing as i got this out i will grab the black star promos out and they can go to one side there's Cleaver V-Star oversized. We get our little plastic plastic. And we get the, the pin badge, Cleaver. And then we get our five packs. Um, I will lose my mind if Fusion Strike delivers anything for us today. That'll be a first. Brilliant stars. Uh, I wouldn't say no to pulling another, another alternate art Charizard. But Astral Radiance, for me, is where I'm thinking it's at today. So 
we will start with Fusion Strike. I'm going to quickly sleeve these up. Seems wrong of me to leave them just raw on the table. Okay, so Bolton to pack. I, uh, I do moan a lot about Fusion Strike. I do believe it hates me, but uh, you know, you could quite easily get tired of me complaining about the set, but uh, one day I'll show my binder, I'll keep meaning to, and uh, you'll see how much of the full, almost full set I have compared to how many good cards at the back I've pulled, and it's unbelievable. Really, really hard set. So I think there is something at the back. I see a shiny edge. Let's go with Fire Energy, Simi Seer, Farewell Bell, Galarian Linoon, Growlithe, Phalanx, Morpeko, Smeargle, Quillfish, we get a Reverse Pangoro, and what is behind? Okay, that's actually a really nice border. What is Fusion Strike doing to us? Is it a full art trainer? It is a trainer. I don't believe I have it. I don't know, I have any full art trainers. Can it be a rainbow? It's not a rainbow. We get a Sydney. Now I, I whatever. I'm not going to complain about that at all. It's high time, high time that Fusion Strike gave us something. And uh, yeah, I'm actually really super chuffed <laughs> to pull something from it. So full art Sydney, not a bad first pack. That is definitely, I'm going to move them over. Definitely worthwhile. I, I really doubt two packs in a row would be hits, but, uh, you know, we can always hope. But uh, that's kind of, that's almost made my day. I would say it's kind of made my week. It's been, uh, it's been forever when we get another good code card, which isn't bad. Okay. We have Psychic Energy, Simi Seer. Farewell Bell, same pack layout, Galarian Linoon, Panseer I don't remember, okay, so the first few cards were the same mapped as the previous pack, we have a Baltoy, Corsola, Quillfish, okay, Reverse Luxio, and just a Hollow, we got the Deoxys Hollow. Well, you know, we can't expect too much. One <clears throat> one hit out of two packs is not bad. On to <clears throat> excuse me. On to brilliant stars. Could that have been our one hit from the box? That's what I would typically expect. I'm gonna keep that. Uh, I've got someone that asked for a few code cards, so I'm gonna try and keep the rest of them. From this opening and brilliant stars we have darkness pachirisu sharon's care gloria corfish sork cherubi clefairy carablast we get a reverse burmy and it looks like we just get a regular cling clang non hollow. Okay, so if there is a second hit, Astral Radiance is the place to be. Let's see how we do. Not a good code card, but we do have trainer gallery options. Would be nice to see one. We have a Fire Energy, Jubilife Village, Quilava, Dark Patch, Rufflet, Ponyta, we get a Rowlet, 
Bronzor, Oshawott. We get a reverse Miss Ma I was going to say Miss Major, so Miss Drevis, and a Reggie Rock non hollow. Uh, possible. I need the reverse, so I will hopefully be able to add that to the binder. Second pack of Astral Radiance. Again, not a good code card. Keep hitting the mic. But let's hope. We have <clears throat> we have a psychic energy, hip held on, dark patch, magneton, Eevee, Heracross, Mantine, we have a quillfish. Basculin. We get a reverse Bisharp, no trainer gallery, sad times, and a non hollow Braviary. Same deal though. Hoping for, for some reverses that we still need for the master sets. So we have to end this box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine packs. I will be doing a video later today. I didn't put any of the pulls from yesterday's nine into the Obsidian Flames binder. And uh, I'm going to get them all together with hopefully some pulls from these. And uh, do a separate video later on today where we'll, uh, we'll populate the binder and have a good review through it to see what's missing. So far, we have opened... This is a second booster box. We've opened two ETBs and we've opened four triple pack blisters. So not not too bad, uh, what, 100 packs-ish, maybe 110. Um, and the binder isn't looking too bad. So we have a Litwick, Young Goose, Charmander, Dratini, Wug Trio, Darmanitan, Stoutland, First reverse is a Fungus. Second reverse is a Bonsley. And we get a Scissor Hollow. So, nothing really in that pack. Uh, there, there are a few reverses I still need. I don't believe any of those are still needed, but uh, you never know. Um, yeah, we've, we've pulled eight hits from this booster box so far. I'm expecting three to four more hits. I haven't got a gold card from this box yet, which is usually something that you would expect to see in, a, in each booster box. So fingers crossed there is one in here. We have a Darkness, Young Goose, Charmander, Dratini, Oddish, Frogadier, Drampa, Sharpedo with a really... Scuffed edge, quite damaged. We get a reverse Lechonk. We get a reverse Volcarona. And we get a hollow Toxtricity. Okay. Uh, I think with the first booster box, I think we had 10 hits, which is fairly low, typically 12 in, in a booster box. Um, I have seen quite a varied sort of success rate with booster boxes from watching other people's videos i've seen some people have tens like i did i've seen some people have 14 so we have a grass energy oddish swablu glimet tadbulb frogadier drampa sharpedo lavatar for the first reverse ordino for the second reverse and we get an EX. It's the Pidgeot EX. Uh, I don't honestly remember if that's an EX that I still need. I feel like I've pulled one already. But either way, we uh, for our binder, we need two to cover uh, two slots. So uh, it's definitely one that I will need for the binder, because if I have pulled one, it's only been one so far. And I just don't remember it. So next pack. 
we are one hit up for today from that booster box. And hopefully there's at least another two remaining. We have a Psychic, Swablu, Glimmet, Tadbulb, Lechonk, Espeon, Floatzel, Whizcash, Reverse Tadbulb, a Reverse Porniard, and a Hollow Entei. Okay. We are five packs in. It's actually gone quite quick with not much to show for it. Let's see how we do. Metal Energy, Zigzagoon, Scyther, Meltan, Charcadet, Masquerade, Gumshoes, Pupitar, we have a Reverse Grievard, um, a Reverse Heatmore, and a Togekiss Hollow. Okay, we are four packs to go. We need two of them to be hits. I would like two of them to be hits, I should say. We start off with a Lightning Energy, Char Cadet, Porniard, Lilliput. Crab Brawler, Masquerain, Gumshoes, Pupitar, we have a Reverse Bear Tick, we get a Reverse Blossom, and Hollow Darkrai. This box, it's either making me really, really wait for hits, or just not going to deliver. I have, you know, it was a good box. I had the Terra Charizard from it. I had the SIR Gita. Uh, we got quite a, a, you know, three or four actually fairly decent cards. But, uh, and I did get the Cleffa yesterday, which is one of my chase cards, so I can't complain. Barboach, Wiglet, Squivet. Espeon, Floatzel, Whizcash, different Grievard in high and reverse. Fire Energy. It's got to be Fire Energy. Yes. Last gold card I needed was Fire Energy. That is a banger. A banger. As I've been told, I should say, yes. So, yeah, there you go. Jordan, Kirsten, yes. Uh, Fire Energy, which is the one I was hoping for. Not a double banger, but we get Gita in Hollow. That, that makes that box completely worthwhile. Over and above all the you know other pools that were in that box, getting the gold card that we needed. I know there's only three in this set, so it's actually fairly easy, I guess, to to complete them. But I didn't want to keep, I didn't want to keep buying booster boxes just to try and play the odds of always having a gold card or most of the time having a gold card in there but with zero chance of it being the one I needed um, I wouldn't say no to another gold Charizard obviously but nice to, to have them and not have to worry about hunting for a gold card okay so we're missing at least one hit I would say two more but I'll be happy with one more hit fire Barboach, Wiglet, Squivet, Palpitoad, Kangaskhan, Camerapt, Lapras, we have a Reverse Spoink. Okay, we do have a pull. It's the Scizor. I already have the Scizor. Um, I'm not going to complain. It's a very nice card. It's a lot of people's chase card. Is very impressive up close. Great use of red. 
um, but unfortunately it's one I do have, but that is the pool that we would have expected. And we have a hollow Scovillain. Okay. So that gives us 11 pools. I'm almost tempted to expect that to be it for this box. But I, last pack magic. I have to ask for it. We all do. Let's see if it delivers. Gonna have to look through what is missing when I do the binder video and kind of set myself some new chase cards, I suppose, because I have pulled quite a few of the ones that I wanted. Uh, obviously the Charizard SIR is up there, but there are a few others. We have a Scyther, Zigzagoon, Meltan, Kangaskhan, Camerupt, Lapras, get a Reverse Crabominable, we have a Reverse Herdia, and the last card, Tink's favourite, Claydol. It's not her favourite, she hates seeing it. But uh, yeah, we get a Hollow Claydol. Okay, so... I can't be mad about that. We've got three cards, two of them definite binder love and fusion strike. What are you doing to my emotions? We finally get something to put at the back of the binder. It's a really cool full art card, full art trainer. I've uh, got a couple of extra black star promos that I already have a quite a few of, but uh, yeah, I mean, that's what it is. Um, Mostly happy, I guess, with the, the fire energy. That's the total banger. Banger for me. Um, thanks for watching. As I said, there will be a separate video later today, or it might get made uh, live on Saturday morning, but I'll hopefully do it today. We'll go over the binder for Obsidian Flames and see where we're at. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, again, let me know in the comments. Are you opening Obsidian Flames? Uh, are you having fun with it? Are you anywhere near completion? And uh, in the meantime, look out for the next video. Take good care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Take care.